Hi, tonight I'm going to try and get deep space objects with my Fujifilm X-T30 and an XF 55 to 230mm zoom lens. And what I'm going to use is this Astro Tracker, which is a Skywatcher Star Adventurer Mini. And the Astro Tracker is going to track the camera to follow the movement of the stars and it's going to control the exposures. So, first thing to do, let's get it set up. Let's get it focused on the star before we do anything else. Set our exposures up on the app on the phone and see what we can get. Okay, what I've done here is I'm pointing the camera at Sirius, the dog star, and I'm using the punch in focus. And I'm just going to focus the lens until I can get the star to as small a point as possible. Okay, that should do it. Let's get the mount pointing towards the first deep sky object and start tracking. And the first target I'm going to try and aim for tonight is the Rosette Nebula. Well I've enjoyed my experience of imaging deep space objects with my camera and a zoom lens and uh, yeah, really like the Fujifilm X series cameras. I started out with an X10 and very quickly upgraded it and bought this XT30 and this lens is the budget telephoto zoom lens but it performed really well. I was quite impressed. For years I've been using a DSLR and the trouble I was finding with the Star Adventurer Mini is a DSLR with a telephoto lens is quite heavy and has quite an off axis weight when it's moving which could affect the tracking. Uh, X-T30 being much smaller with a much lighter lens has performed admirably. I was taking 60 second exposures and I took it up to with a uh, full extension 230mm I could get 2 minute exposures without any real evidence of star trailing unless you look very closely and I really enjoyed it. I'm pleased I've got into the XT series of cameras. I'm looking forward to later on trying it out on a telescope and I understand that the X-Trans has good sensitivity in the hydrogen alpha region of light. So I'm going to try that out against a modified DSLR and see how it performs. But yeah, first go at deep space with the telephoto lens. I'm really pleased. Let's have a look at what I managed to get. <laughs> 